it was just one of those days where I kept questioning myself. Why do I feel like I always have to be creating something from artwork to songs to just writing out little novels to to being in radio to creating commercials? Why do I always have to be creative? And then I heard it in my heart because you're addicted to creativity. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. An interview with Elton John is currently on CBS this morning. He's preparing for his final show in America at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Now, sadly, because of modern day technology, it's probably not going to feel like that he ever left. That's pretty sad, isn't it? And the reason why is because YouTube, iHeart, iTunes, and others, the music will always be readily available to our thirsty habits of wanting things right now. Truly losing an artist like Michael Jackson, Prince, Eddie Van Halen, and others has been an eye-opener in my heart because I've not had the types of conversations my parents had when they lost their legends. For that matter, look at how we continue to support the one-hit wonders. Someone like Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up. This song is still huge on my dance floor. So as I listen to this Elton John interview on CBS, I ache in spirit, but know in reality that I'm only five seconds away from the Rocket Man being on my smartphone. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. I love to sit in the underbrush and watch the world and then write about it. Because somewhere within that word, that experience, that message, there's going to be something that we can use as a tool. This is The Daily Mess. The nation's very first major snowstorm of the season is hitting the East Coast right now embracing winter my god in heaven it is a real mood stealer Mm -mm. i left montana for a reason and i ain't going back because i can't do winter i just can't do it now my heart isn't frozen here in carolina but it's always planted in the soils of those fighting for their country in ukraine i know we've heard the stories that russia has pulled away from certain areas in ukraine but the story remains that the war will continue through their brutal winter and that's constantly on my heart their brutal winter the world can't turn its back knowing that our snow is not like their snow in america we have roofs over our heads those in ukraine they've got holes in their walls and the streets are just cluttered with debris as a nation as a globe We've got to remain connected in a way to try to warm up the lives of those that are facing daily battles. Your personal strength can be activated in the eyes and hearts of someone that's always in need. Allow your presence, understand your presence, get in touch with your presence to be present in another person's snowy sky. Because together, we can all be warm. A lot of weight. Do you ever think about what's going on in someone else's life? I don't, I don't want to say it's always about me, 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 me. But when I do get into those mood swings where I am trying to protect me, 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 it's like, wait a second. Don't do that. That's when the awareness alarm goes off and says, it ain't about me, 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 me. So get out of that mindset and let's figure out how you can take your situation and turn it into a tool for someone else. It's like finding the needle in a haystack. I talked about this the other day. Okay, what are you going to do when you find the needle in the haystack? Are you going to use it to mend what is broken? Or do you throw it back into the haystack, believing that you're going to find it again? What are you going to do with those moments where you're cold? Where you're not so friendly to others? You realize you're this way, but you don't have to settle into it. Now, my dad did. My dad was very cold, and and, and as the years went by, we understood why. It was because he fought in World War II. He just didn't want to speak about what he went through. My God, I, I was talking with a U.S. soldier today, and I talked to him about my dad's situation because this U.S. soldier has gone out there and released a brand new book, and in this book, he talks about how you can't stay silent. You can't put yourself in a cold situation. So when, when we're talking about snow in the daily writing, we envision the snowflakes and how cold things are, but the thing is, is that we're also cold in spirit. The man that I was talking to was David Bellavia. David Bellavia has a brand new book. He, th- this guy is the only living Iraqi War Medal of Honor winner. And he's the author of this brand new book called Remember the Ramrods. 
And when you hear his story and the way that this 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 collection of individual people from all corners of this nation came together 15 years after he was awarded that medal, you realize it's not about me, 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 that we need each other. And that when we get into those moments, such as a war in Ukraine, it's those moments of togetherness that shape how we grow forward. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.